So we're going to compute the determinant using row expansion, and we're going to find the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. So we're going to row expand across row 1. When in doubt, just go across row 1. Now the way we do this, it is the alternating sum. We're going to pick out this coefficient multiplied by the determinant of the minor. So it's 1 times the determinant of the minor is 0, 2, 0, 3. Now the sign matrix is important. It goes plus minus plus. So now it's minus 2 times. So cover up. Cover up the uh, column 2. We have 3, 2, 1, 3. And last up, plus negative 1. And 3, 0, 1, 0. Now, 2 by 2 determinants, we saw what those were. So we have 0 minus 0 times 1, minus 2 times 3 by 3 is 9, minus 2, plus negative 1, 0 minus 0. So a lot of these are zeros. And we have 0 minus 2 times 7, plus 0, equals negative 14. All right, so that was a determinant using row expansion. Now, if you do a 4x4 four four determinant or a 5x5 five five determinant, unfortunately, each of these minors, uh, if you did a 5x5, five five, your minors would be 4x4. Four four. You'd have to get the determinant using another row expansion, giving you a 3x3, three three, and then another row expansion 2x2. Two two. Uh, so a determinant of bigger than a 3x3 three three can be a big pain. The way we're going to get these a little bit easier is we're going to be clever about what row or column that we expand across. So we'll do the exact same problem. Except we're going to go, oh, I should put the determinant, so determinant. We're going to go expanding across column two. Why is column two good? Because it has two zeros in it. So our sign matrix, I'm going to go minus plus minus. So it's going to be minus 2 times the determinant of 3, 2, 1, 3 plus 0 times determinant of something I don't care about because it's times 0 minus 0 times determinant of I don't even need to bother with these minors because the uh, coefficients here are already 0. So I really only have to worry about the first one. So 3 times 3 is 9, 2 times 1 is 2, 9 minus 2, that's 7 times negative 2, negative 14. So if you are uh, a little bit more careful about what row or column you expand across, you can save a lot of time.